Hey guys, KJ Snap here, uh, back again with another action figure review. This time I'll be reviewing the SS Figure Arts Star Wars Rock One Stormtrooper. All right, so yeah, here's the figure, and let me just help you to focus. Uh, as you can see, the details are quite nice, and this is an iconic Stormtrooper look from Episode Four to Five to Six. And here they use it again in the Star Wars Rock One movie. If you haven't seen the movie yet, go check it out. You, it's a must watch for a Star Wars fan, right? And for the figure itself, I can say the figure it looks nice. It has a clean paint apps and also quite good details. And it's an upgrade actually from the old Stormtrooper of the SH Figuarts line. All right. And this Stormtrooper is quite, I would say it's quite satisfying to look. And since this is an iconic look, you must have him if you haven't uh, got any Stormtrooper before, and especially your, if you're a big Star Wars fan. Right, as you can see, the helmet is nice with all the, the paints in the uh, correct place, even the teeth, as you can see, I, I'm not sure what I should call it teeth or air vents, looks good behind. All of the necessary details are uh, displayed correctly on this Stormtrooper and yeah it's good it's just good and as you can see here on the belt itself uh, you think this might hinder the movement but no it's a soft plastic so when you actually raise up the leg it won't uh, disturb or hinder the range of movement of the stormtrooper itself right and then i would say the only downfall of this stormtrooper is that uh, certain parts of it is quite stiff certain parts of it is uh, quite okay but yeah but still uh, you can get quite good range of movement from him and also yeah uh, he has good at crunch uh, double uh, double jointed arms no around 90 degree I would say double jointed knees right articulated shoulder pads uh, head that can move like around quite good with a uh, neck neck uh, articulation can down bend and this crunch uh, the waistband or the ab crunch can uh, it really helps later on with another set of accessories I mean another accessory that the stormtrooper comes with which the old version of SH Vigard stormtrooper didn't have before all right so let me just show you the size before I go into the articulation. Oh yeah, did I mention that he has quite good ankle pivot, which makes the posing much easier. Let me just so show you the heights before I show you the accessories. Stand up, trooper. He's quite kind of. I can say he's kind of slacking around. So yeah, kind of funny as well to see a trooper like that. So here's the stormtrooper. Just put it in a proper angle. And here's next to him, Captain America from the Marvel Legends line. From the movie Civil War, as you can see the size next to him again. He's also another, another Marvel character which is we will take that pool and of course we need to have DC when we have Marvel right so yeah at the left most is SH Vigard's Injustice Joker and last but not least is the Mesco Green Arrow right so yeah you can see the size of the trooper itself it's kind of short but again as you as what what you can expect from uh, from the SH Vigard's lines most of the figures are short unless at certain figurines they might make them a bit taller i would say just like the injustice joker all right so yeah let me show you the accessories for this stormtrooper so this stormtrooper actually comes with uh, not too much accessories i would say just fine but i wish they give more but again what does a stormtrooper have right unless they have a unmasked head with what kind of look I'm not sure 
So this stormtrooper actually came with uh, multiple accessories. Uh, it's not too much, it's not too little, just fine. So uh, he came with one pair of fisted hands. This is the one, right? And then also one pair of trigger fi trigger pulling trigger pulling hand. This is the one, and then also open palm hand. Not to say open, so, uh, I would say a semi open helm or a uh, gun holding hand to just to balance the guns when it's holding like this all right and of course he came with his iconic blaster right the detailings are quite good and i'm not sure what to call what gun is this but it looks like a grenade uh, not a grenade launcher but a long barrel modern musket i'm not sure but this is the gun that he came with and last but not least i think this might this is it might be a rifle or a machine not a machine gun but i think it's a long range rifle for for them to fight on the battlefield and it's articulated as well here and you can actually pull it because uh, there's a hole here you can insert it back just like that all right so uh that's my review on the stormtrooper I would say it's quite good if you're a fan of Star Wars, uh, especially on the Rogue One or the old uh, episodes, the prequels, I would say get him because he looks that good and it's way better than the Black Series. But if you're on a tight budget, then uh, I would say just you can just ignore him. Alright, so uh, my rating for this figure an 8 out of 10. So yeah. Like I mentioned, if you're a fan of Stormtrooper and you just want to have the iconic look in your collection, especially you collect, uh, if you're collecting SHP Guard Star Wars line, get him, right? And last but not least, if you like this, uh, my review, please like this video. You can comment on it, give your feedbacks uh, on uh, how I can improve myself. You can also subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot in, I mean, continuing on what I'm doing. And also, uh, you can follow me on my Instagram, kjsnap.photography. And also, you can like my page for more action figure reviews and latest news. Alright, I also do picture reviews if there's a need and if I have more time. So yeah, you can just follow all the media that I have stated. You can also find me on Twitter as well. Alright, so until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace out. Bye.